On most nights, this is where you'll find Greg Brown, surveying animals along the fog dam wall, 70 kilometres east of Darwin. A lot of the things I see, I do just make a note of. There's a water pipe and there's a death adder, there's a possum. But the things that I uh, study more in depth, the keelbacks and slaty gray snakes, yeah, so if I see one, um, I have to dart after it. This is a slaty gray snake. This one's a male and it's uh, unmarked. Greg Brown had almost a decade of data by the time cane toads arrived at Fog Dam in 2005. Even though the cane toads had been in Queensland for you know, 75 years, you know, no one was out counting goannas and king brown snakes and taipans in the 1920s. So this was really the first opportunity to um, get some good background data for before and after the toads arrived. Not a dead goanna. When the toads started trickling in, all of a sudden you'd actually you'd see, the, see them lying dead. These big healthy goannas just lying dead. Populations of king brown snakes, quolls and blue tongue lizards were also badly affected, but they have survived. There are winners and losers. Uh, the toads have affected the system, but they haven't driven anything to extinction. The survey is now showing up a much bigger threat to the system. The rains have not really come. The impact of these very dry wet seasons is huge. It far outweighs the impact of invaders like cane toads. That's fog dam and this is what it's uh, normally like at mid-May. Water flowing over the road. Funding to monitor the changes has dried up but the work will go on. Because I'm here studying toads and parasites I can come here at night and uh, continue looking for snakes. A nightly routine that will continue for at least the next five years. Letitia Lemke, ABC News.